Hello, this is Tammy Roach from Charlottetown, Mitsubishi. We're doing another Mitsubishi moment. And today we're gonna be talking about brakes. So I'm here with Steve Hennessy, our service manager, who's gonna go over the basic operation of brakes, um, along with some tips and tricks. And some people just haven't even seen brakes before. So off we go. All right, so we're gonna start with the basics. This is your typical brake system. So when you push your foot and the pedal in the car, it moves a piston in a caliper, which squeezes a brake pad against a rotor, causing friction, which slows your vehicle down. Now, eventually over time, you have your new brake that will eventually wear into an old brake. So if your brake pads look like this and your rotors look like this, it's time for new brakes to make them look like this. So a lot of times we'll give you a measurement, right? So when we're measuring them, we're actually measuring this pad here, right? Exactly, we measure that and it's measured in millimeters. Mm -hmm. So we start off with a new brake pad, six to eight millimeters and a worn pad, anything below one and a half uh, fails more vehicle inspection on, on Prince Edward Island. But once you start getting down to below four, it's time to start budgeting for new brakes because they're coming sooner than later. Exactly. Okay. So, moving on, you should, when you're changing your brakes, I always recommend you change your pads and your rotors at the same time because what happens is brake pads wear to the rotor. And if you decide to put new pads on an old rotor, what you're gonna get is two things. You're gonna get inadequate performance of the brakes. Mm -hmm. And what people will notice most is they will get noise, squealing, mm -hmm. chirping, all those noises that we hate to hear coming from our car. That's where they come from in the brake system. So if you change your brake pads and your rotors at the same time, and they're put on properly, you'll have no noise issues and better brake performance for the life of the pad. Mm -hmm. exactly. And to help you keep that performance going, especially in our climate on Prince Edward Island, I always recommend uh, a yearly brake service. Now, what is a brake service? Pretty much every year we come in and we take apart your brakes and inside your caliper, where the brakes sit, you get rust and corrosion. And in here, where the caliper actually moves back and forth, we get rust and corrosion. So we take these apart, clean them up, clean up where the pads sit, so everything moves nice and free for another year. Then you get better brake performance and greater brake wear. So a little bit of preventative maintenance every year will save you a costly brake job before you need it. Exactly. So we went over brakes, what they look like new, what they look like old, why you should replace your pads and rotors and also brake servicing, what we're actually doing. Never be afraid to ask any questions at the shop you're at. Um, I know we'll definitely bring somebody in the shop and show them their brakes or ask for a picture of your brake pads and rotors if you're you know, unsure what your measurements are. Any shop should be able to show you that, take pictures, everybody's got a smartphone. So never be afraid to ask questions. Yeah, if in doubt, ask questions. It's your car and it's your money spend it wisely mm -hmm. where you feel is best going to be spent. And it's your safety too. It is one of the most important safety features of your car. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Steve Hennessy, service manager, manager extraordinaire. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any one of us here at Charlottetown Mitsubishi. No question is too stupid. And we would be happy to help you with any questions that you may or may not have. Have a great day. Okay, next time.